Hi, in this video, I'll show you how to create a business email such as karthik at the rate incomegaze.com and use it with Gmail. Well, if you own a website, let's say domain.com, you can create an email address such as username at the rate domain.com. Username can be anything, it can be karthik, it can be John, it can be Jack, anything at the rate your domain.com. And this email address is called professional email address because it ends with your website.com instead of gmail.com or whatever. You need to create a professional email to build trust and to build authenticity among your audience. Hi, my name is Karthik. I am a web developer and the founder of WPAlgorithm.com. On Design School by WP Algorithm, I make step-by-step -step WordPress and Elementor tutorials. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. Let's get to the tutorial. If you don't have a website yet, check out the link in the description and start your website from the scratch. It's really easy. Click the first link in the description and that will take you to this screen which is called Google Workspace. This is the software that we're going to use to create our professional email address. It's like two to three bucks per person per domain. So essentially for a domain, it's like three bucks per month. It's pretty cheap and it has a lot of features. Anyway, just click that link in the description and you'll be taken to the screen. Also in another tab, open where you have hosted your website. Incomegaze.com is hosted on DigitalOcean. So I just click and open Incomegaze.com's droplet or the control panel. Now, if you have any other hosting providers such as SiteGround, you have to go to client area, services, domains and manage and you have to follow the instructions. If you have a cPanel based website, you need to go to domains and click on DNS zone editor, right? As you see on the screen. So we'll click on get started and it'll ask business name. I'll just say income gaze. It's not a business, but we'll just type income gaze and number of employees. Well, I'm um, just me. I'll pick my country as India because that's where I belong. Click on next and First name, enter your first name, current email address, just fill in an email address that you want to use as a fallback for this professional email address. So I'll use contact.designschool, click on next and yeah, of course we have a domain, right? I have incomegaze.com and you'll just enter your own. I'll click on yes and just type in the name of the domain. I'll say incomegaze.com and click on next. You don't need to type HTTP, HTTPS or anything, right? So yeah, it's incomegaze.com. I'll just click on next. I'll click OK. It will now ask us to pick a username. Basically, this is the business email address or the professional email address. I'll just pick Karthik. You can pick john.boyd at the rate incomegaze.com, karthik.rajnala. I'll just pick karthik and you can see that the last part is incomegaze automatically. Just pick a password and click on I'm not a robot. So I just entered a password and I clicked on I'm not a robot. I'll just click on agree and continue. I'll not save this password because this is just a test account, right? So give it some time and it'll ask us to set it up. Of course, we want to set this up. I'll just click on go to setup. Click on next. So you have to, the email address is what you just picked and the password, you have to copy the password. So once you fill in your email address and the password that you just picked, once you confirm those, you'll get this whole policy screen. Just click on accept and give it some time. So this is the admin console. I'll just click on next and now it's, shows that yes, of course, we're in the Google workspace, but it didn't still activate Gmail, which is where we really want to get this email, right? So I just want to activate that. Click on activate and you'll get this splash screen. So once you click on the splash screen, continue, you'll be taken to this screen and Google workspace will scan where your website is present, right? now. It shows here that I have to change the name servers from DigitalOcean 
I actually bought this domain from namecheap.com, but Google knows where it's resting, right? So where this website is. So if you've added this website to Cloudflare, it will show you to change the name servers in the Cloudflare. But I didn't add it to Cloudflare yet. I'll show you in another video. It is showing that it has detected that this domain is on DigitalOcean. So I have to go to DigitalOcean and change this. So based on your host, you have to go to that host and change it. I've showed you how to do it with cPanel and stuff, right? So you just go to manage domains and change DNS management. Since I'm logged into DigitalOcean, I can simply click on networking on the left dashboard entry. Click on domains. And I'll just click on incomegaze.com. That will take us or you can go to the project. Click on incomegaze.com domain, even that will take you to the screen. Now you need to click on MX record tab that you see over here. And here's where you need to change the records based on what Google says you have to, right? So the first MX record that you have to add is this, right? On step four, maybe it's step five for you based on your host, right? Where it says add MX records, it will give you step by step instructions. So the first record is this. You even have to copy the period in here, right? Even that is highlighted. Copy that, right? Along with the period after dot com, there is a period. Just also copy that because even that is highlighted in bold lettering. Go to your cPanel. The first record, you'll just type at the rate. Paste the mail server address, which is this. So even the period is included. Priority is one. Now TTL, you can change it default, but based on my experience, I'll just enter 3600. Click on create record. Give it some time and it says MX record added successfully. And that's our first MX record that you can see down below. Above name servers, you see a new type of record called MX for incomegaze.com for mail. Let's proceed with all the other values. Now it has a table with all the priorities and the addresses. Let's start with the second one. I'll copy the second one. The period should also be copied. For some hosts, it'll ask you not to copy the period, but in here, it's asking us to copy the period as well. After .com, you also have to copy the period, right? Don't think you have to, you have to leave it. Copy that, go to your control panel. So the second record, again, host name is just at the rate. Paste it, right? It includes the trailing period. And the priority it asks us is five, right? So for this first record, just enter five. Let's change this to 3600. You can leave it at default, not a problem. I just click on create record. Let's proceed with the third record, which is this ELT2 dot something, right? Copy that again, host name is at the rate. Paste the ELT2 dot alt two dot whatever dot com again the priority for this is five right it shows in the table just follow the instructions whatever google gives they're pretty standard i'll change the detail to 3600 and click on create record so we have the default asmp record and alt one and alt two records we need two more records now let's copy the alt three record right again at the rate make sure you're in the mx tab while doing all of this if you're in the a tab click on the mx tab and copy these and you can verify the type of record it should be mx it should not be name server or any other record right now the priority is 10 you can leave ttl at default for the third one click on create record that is added now the fourth one copy Again, hostname at the rate, copy this, alt four, again, priority is 10 and TTL will leave there. Click on create record. So that is added as well. And finally, it will ask us to paste this verification code. So there's a copy button that you see over here. Click the copy button, right? Again, hostname at the rate, paste whatever you've copied. And I think the priority it asks us to add is 15, right? 
So just add a 15 priority and leave TTL at the default. Click on create record. Right. So totally there will be six records, four alt records, the final verification record and the default record which is aspmx.l.google.com and all the priorities can be seen over here in the records tab. I think we're good to go. Just give it some time and we've copied everything that is needed. And for some hosts, Google may ask you not to copy the trailing period, right? If you're in uh, Cloudflare or something, it may ask you not to copy the trailing period. But in this case, it's asking us to copy. So I've copied. So whatever the instructions are, follow them clearly. But if you're on DigitalOcean, you can just follow me. Click on activate uh, Gmail. Just give it some time. It will verify if the records are present or not. Now, don't worry if it says that the records are not present or didn't match because they'll take some time to propagate. We'll just wait for some time and we'll come back so that we can see the records in action, maybe around five to 10 minutes. At the first try, if your records don't match, click on retry activation. It may tell you to come back, close this page and come back after five minutes. Well, you can simply come back after five minutes. And now it says that Gmail is activated for this domain. That's it, right? We are done. Just come back after five minutes, click on retry activation and boom your professional email or your business email is up and running and it's ready to be used with Gmail. Okay, so if you've closed this tab, you just need to log in with your professional email uh, or business email and password and you can come back to the screen. You can simply leave it as is and now it shows that Gmail is activated. It will ask us if we want to create new users. There's a small skip for now button click on that because we're just happy with one professional email address right you can set up billing but you can simply try it out even without entering a credit card information on wpalgorithm.com i had this setup you can click on setup billing add your credit card information and you're good to go right so the incomegaze.com website is verified for this user if you want you can create multiple uh, professional email addresses or business email addresses. Finally, there's something called activate Gmail. Click on that and you should be good to go, right? Now you can simply log out from that particular browser. Go to gmail.com, right? Click on sign in. You can sign in with your professional email address. The one that I created right now is karthik at the rate incomegaze.com you'll sign in with the one that you created enter the email also enter the password and once you do you're just greeted with this screen you can get started with your gmail right you have all your apps and not just gmail you have access to basically everything right all the google apps you have access to drive you get 30 gigs of storage for the base business account right and you have hangouts you have cloud search podcasts all this stuff and youtube for some reason it's not accessible when you create it with this anyway you will be having a personal account and when you click on the account you can see that this account is karthik at the rate incomegaze.com so just like that we created now you can use this just like any other normal email address right you can type in a two address subject punch in your mail also you'll be receiving your mail whenever it's sent to this address, which is your business email address. So it's that simple.